Welcome back. Right now we have Dr. Mauer and Dr. Davis here with us from White Pine Veterinarian Clinic. Very excited to be talking more about this great veterinarian clinic right here in Park City out by Kimball Junction. They have new hours. They're offering much, much more. They take care of your pets with so much compassion. Thank you both of you for being here today. Thank, Thank you for having us. <laughs> so I want to start with exciting news that you are now open more to service animals here in Park City. It's such a need to be able to have somewhere to take our pets every single day. Yes, yeah, we've uh, extended our hours Monday through Friday. We are um, staying open until seven o'clock now, taking, taking um, patients from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday we are um, open from 8 until 5. Um, Sunday is urgent care, uh, walk-in basis, so we're taking, taking everybody. So That's so exciting. And Dr. Davis, tell me a little bit more about some of the services that you offer at White Pine. Yeah, so we have several things that we're able to offer here at the hospital. So we have digital x-ray here at White Pine. We also do dental x-rays with all of our routine dental procedures. We've got ultrasound, so we use that very commonly, you know, for some of our abdominal investigations. And we also have um, laparoscopic capabilities here at White Pine. So for some of our procedures, such as a spay, we have the option to do minimally invasive approach with the laparoscope, which is really wonderful that we can offer that to our patients. It absolutely is, and Dr. Maurer, it's very much evolved your veterinarian clinic it's expanded where as we mentioned it's open for more hours but you're also offering really in-depth procedures for these animals yeah we've we've um, tried to stay really with uh, offering the gold standard to all of our patients and um, with our with our advanced technology we've been able to um, you know, see to animals a lot more rapidly as far as getting them for ultrasound scans. We do have a few doctors who have had some training in that and we're all um, passionate about the importance of, of preventative and also diagnostic scans like that and uh, we can't speak highly enough about the laparoscopic uh, procedures as well. We've, they've been shown across the board now to um, to be able to minimize pain intraoperatively, minimize risk of infection, bleeding, um, small incisions. These dogs go home feeling great the next day and or the, that same day. Um, we're able to offer laparoscopic liver biopsies as well. Um, our goal is eventually to offer laparoscopic gastropexy procedures as well, um, sparing an animal from having a big abdominal incision and um, a lot more, a lot less uh, trauma involved. So. So great, great care right here locally. And Dr. Davis, something else that you definitely emphasize is the importance of senior care and those <coughs> yearly exams for your animals. Absolutely, so just like what you and I would have done regularly with our primary care provider yearly, you know, we have a physical exam, we get routine labs done. You know, that's just as important with our our patients, if not more, you know, primarily because our kids can't talk to us. You know, our fur babies don't have the capability to communicate what's wrong. So we rely heavily on our physical exams and our preliminary diagnostics like blood work in order to determine if there's a problem. And that care, especially for senior pets, is so important to help not only extend their lives, but make sure that they're comfortable and happy. Yeah, yeah, we're able to provide interventions more rapidly mm -hmm. um, when we're able to pick up on some of these changes that, that an animal may not be demonstrating at all at home and often isn't demonstrating at home. So, um, you know, with, with cats, kidney disease, hyperthyroidism, mm -hmm. we see those very routinely and, and quite often um, early on are very asymptomatic at home for, for some of these changes. So. Which, as we mentioned, also makes that yearly exam so incredibly important. But sometimes I feel like as pet owners, it can be easy to just unintentionally forget or skip absolutely. over it. But it's so vitally important. Tell me more about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, Dr. Maurer and I, during a physical exam, you know, we can feel if your fur kid has a mass in its belly. You know, we can feel if your 
older lab is starting to develop arthritis. You know, we can see if your kid is developing cataracts. So all of those things, you know, are so important to be able to detect early on so we can ultimately increase longevity and improve our quality of life in our patients. As a pet owner, all of these complications, these issues that our pets can have, it feels a bit overwhelming, but you all are there to help us understand you can take care of the pet, we don't need to worry, you've got this covered for us. Yeah, yeah, our staff is trained and um, we, we love your pets, not as much as you do, but we, we love them very much too. I mean, we're all animal lovers and so we're, we are, our goal is to help and to, to jump in kind of as needed. Um, as, as Dr. Davis was saying too, um, I, you know, I think one area that we are passionate about and, I, and, and this is becoming so important in veterinary medicine is dental health. And, uh, you know, it's not routine for us as owners to lift our pet's gums and look at their teeth, mm -hmm. but, but, you know, this is something that we will routinely do with every visit. And um, I would say a vast majority of the time we are recommending people pursue dental care at that point. And, mm -hmm. um, just really, again, interventional medicine, just trying to keep these guys healthy longer, so. And tell me a little bit more about that. As far as dental health, we may think as pet owners, oh, we can just skip that. But it's so important if we don't care for that dental health, if we let it go un untaken care of, what are some complications that can happen? Yeah, absolutely. So one of my mentors used to tell me, without a healthy mouth, you can't have a healthy body. So everything that builds up in the mouth kind of gets filtered down into the rest of the body. So, you know, we can see that cause problems with organs, with the heart. You know, we want to make sure that those teeth are clean and that we're doing everything that we can to make sure the mouth stays healthy. And I know pets, they don't love going to the vet. They just have this inane sense, I think, that they don't want to be there and they don't want to be poked and prodded. But your clinic does a great job having a fear-free environment. Yeah, this is this is something that's been shown to be very important. Um, it it increases um, you know our ability to complete a proper physical exam um, and owner compliance, truthfully, when, when their pets are, are less fearful being uh, in our clinic. We, we do um, as minimal restraint as possible, and that's been helpful. Um, offering treats, mm -hmm. slow, you know, sweet talking, spending time in the room with them. Um, this is all important, and the pets pick up on all of that, and it does. I mean, we've, we've seen plenty of pets go from being very fearful at their initial visit um, and, and slowly improving with time with each subsequent visit. So it has, it has made a difference. And I can personally attest to that because we actually bring our dog and our cat to you all. We have for years and do such a great job loving on them. I feel like you truly have this personal relationship with them. And they start out a little intimidated, a little scared, but you always do a great job of helping them feel comfortable. You're so kind to them. So definitely I would say fear-free veterinarian care is such a big priority for you all and you, you deliver on that. I know neither one of you are from Park City. Tell me a little bit more about where you're both from and actually how you came together even before you came here. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm from Pennsylvania originally. That's where I grew up. And I'm from Wisconsin, grew up there. Um, I went to school in Wisconsin at Madison and you know. Yeah, I actually went overseas. I went to Ross University in St. Kitts, West Indies for vet school. And then we kind of came together, one of our first jobs in North Carolina and Charlotte area. Yeah, so we worked together there for, for about a year. Yeah. Um, and then both kind of moved on to, to other, other things and then had this opportunity to come back together out here in Park City. And um, we've enjoyed working with each other. Obviously, we're here, so. Yeah. And what made you both decide to come to Park City? You had an opportunity, but at the same time, you made that decision to set up practice here. Yeah, so we, you know, we had friends out here, we had a mentor out here that had been, you know, really encouraging about making the move and, you know, we just decided at different times, you know, we wanted to come out here and just experience all that Utah had to offer and, and Park City and become a part of that family. I know you both are very healthy and fit, you're part of the community, and I'm curious though as far as veterinarian care, what brought you into it initially, Dr. Davis? What made you decide you wanted to be a part of helping animals? Well, I guess in, 
for my personal experience, it sounds a little cliche, but you know, I always felt like I bonded better to animals as a young kid. Um, you know, and that was kind of something that stayed with me, you know, when I was young and throughout, you know, my teen years and high school. And that was just kind of something that I always felt like was a good fit for me. And it just happened to go all the way. So here I am. And what about you? What made you decide to do this? It's a similar story. So yes, I've always felt like I connected more with animals than with people, which sounds silly, but um, I, I think a lot of us can, can relate to that. Um, and, you know, as a child, I had wanted to be a veterinarian. And then during college and in, in high school, I had toyed with the idea of um, other, other medical avenues and ultimately always came back to this. And so, yeah, um, kind of pursued it through college and, and into veterinary school, and here we are. So. And we're so fortunate to have both of you at White Pine, incredible staff there as well. I want to wrap this up by making sure to emphasize that you are now open every single day to take care of our animals. One of the only places in Park City. So remind me again of the hours and how this has expanded and changed your clinic. Yes, so again, our hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, we're taking scheduled appointments as well as squeezing walk-ins in during the daytime. And then we are open Saturday and Sunday from 8 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Saturday scheduled appointments and walk-ins. Sunday is a walk-in basis only. Our goal with doing this is to offset um, a lot of the the burden and and um, you know busyness that the emergency clinics down in Salt Lake are are, are dealing with. Um, people are being told long you know several hour waits to get into these these facilities and so we're trying to offset some of that, um, taking on urgent urgent care appointments. So. And if your pet is experiencing an emergency during those hours, do they need to already be a patient or will you take any animal that comes in? We'll take anybody. They don't have to be an established client. We're happy to help. So all they need to do is call or they can walk in and we'll make sure that they're taken care of. And once again, your website to get all the information and to make sure we find everything we need to be able to come in and have our animals see you and have great care. Yes, um, our website is whitepinevet.com. So, okay. yep, you should be able to find everything you need there, and our, uh, our phone number will be listed there as well. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure meeting both of you. We are very fortunate to have White Pine Veterinary Hospital right here in Park City. It's great having you both on the show, and I want to thank you for the incredible care that you give our animals here. Well, thank you for having us and for those kind words. So, Thank you so much. You can find out more about White Pine Veterinary Hospital online. You can see their incredible staff there. They will care for your pet now open every single day to make sure that your pet gets the care that they need. We'll be back with more right here on Mountain Connections right after this.